You were right that there is an impact of authoritarian versus authoritative parenting. Mm -hmm. And you are right that African-American parents are more effective with this kind of discipline than other cultures. So there is a culture but component. You know but it's But do you know why? They used to, like, black parents used to beat their kids so the kids would be in line, so the kids wouldn't act up outside, and the white people back in the day would kill them. No. So, right. so, it, so it runs a little bit deeper than you know, your you know why You know why psychologists are fearful it happens? Because of intergenerational transmission of trauma. Because somebody did it 150 years ago, and it just keeps happening over but, and over again. But, 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 but yes, we see it happen over, yes, over again. Have you been to the jails? Have you been to the prisons? Have yeah. you spoken to them? Yeah. Have you spoken to the parents and how they were raised? Have you spoken to those of us who are educated and go to school mm -hmm. and know how we were disciplined? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh it wasn't abuse, it was discipline because we did yeah. something that was wrong. Mm -hmm. We were wrong. Or you guys and fight by what would you look anybody, like you were about to do? Well, I got a look. <laughs> I got a look. I got a look, got but we look. stayed out of jail. But a look and is we okay. are healthy. I'm I'm uh, speaking. I'm work. speaking. White people do things differently. We can't do that. You're watching them burn down our churches. You're watching them come in our churches and kill us. I'm tired of watching them killing my brothers. I'm tired. I'm going to discipline them before you guys get a chance to shoot them. You hear me? That's a, that's a basic I'm argument. I'm going to save my brothers. You will do the right thing. You will stay out of jail. That's a I'm baseless talking to argument. All you. You, we can't do that's what an you guys do. Argument. I got to show up to work two hours early because I get overlooked. You but hear wait, me? Wait I'm second. tired. Let, let that's a baseless argument. We were tired. talking no. about punishment no. towards children. We were talking about interview, discipline. Interview 100% of those people in those prisons, and I guarantee they say, my parents beat me. No. 100% no. of them wrong. will say no. that. It's, hang You're on, wrong. hang on. We have yeah. somebody... Right. You're wrong. You're wrong. You go talk to them. You're making stuff up. I speak so to them. So are you. I speak my, to them. I, don't, don't to, to, say, to say that to, to beat a child resume? to that's prevent white people from you killing him, talking. that's mindlessly don't, saying don't something. Talk, no. okay. well, You're being, don't give, run give your mouth the, without having uh, facts. You go I need to talk, talk to you. Them. What like facts are you presenting Denise, that if you're not beating a kid, he's going to be killed? Mike, you're not helping me. Beating discipline, that's not beating. Denise, can you you work in the prisons. What are the facts? I do. What are the facts? Yes. You know, the, and Annalise is absolutely right, Dr. Drew. If we, if somebody came upon a scene with a white man beating a black boy surrounded by a bunch of white folks with cameras, like a runaway slave, all hell would break loose. And for anybody to say that that's not true, they are lying. But what about that, what you see? Okay, I agree with you. right about that. All right. Number um, two. Yeah. I, I have no problem with discipline. I have a problem with the fact that this man grabbed a belt and beat this other boy, this other person's child. But Deneen, that's a problem Deneen, with me. everyone's getting all upset. What about what this young lady was, now, I'm, I'm very sympathetic to what this young lady was saying because she's tired of seeing things that we're watching Every on television that is horrible. Hang on. Been, Hang on. Hang on. Has been punished with the belt. Okay. Every kid. In, I guarantee you that. In prison. In, in every kid, I worked in juvenile hall for yeah. six years. Yeah. Every kid there was beaten. I, I it was corporally punished. Right. So it works for some people. It doesn't work for others. Right. You can't just say across the board, beat your kids and they'll stay out of jail. That's they right. end up in jail. They learn that violence is the way to do things. It's That's not right. appropriate. And so, for every so kid you, is. as someone who works no. in the criminal justice system on a daily basis, what yes. you're telling me is you're confirming what Mike is saying. You're confirming what yes. I have experienced that the, yes. the physical violence sometimes does work and people do end up, it's not as though it's, you're necessarily going to have trouble. Violence works. Fear but, of a whooping works too. I'm a, I'm a whoop you, that'll work too. If you whoop them one time and then you don't have to whoop them again. But, but the, this constant beating for everything, they learn to, to react through violence. And, and statistically, in our society. right, statistically, the probability goes up the more you see physical violence, right? Is that true? Yes, because okay. that's how you learn to right. express yourself.